All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode. I'll make it quick this time. Um, I just want to show you guys something called Animation Composer. It's been around for a couple of years now, but you might be surprised the amount of people who don't know about it. If that's you, then you're probably a student, and that's fine because your teacher doesn't want you to cheat so early on in the near in the process. So uh, without further ado, let's get started on. Animation Composer. So once you have Animation Composer uh, downloaded and installed on your After Effects, just go to your Windows panel and then make sure you drag Animation Composer into your workspace. So I just want to show you guys like three things today, which is transition preset. So I uh, see this window on the right here. Just press on 2D layer transformations and then it'll give you a series of movements or transformations that normally you would do manually. But here, okay, let's say you want a blur and fade effect. Instead of using a, yeah, keying in your own settings, just drag and drop this into an object in the composition and it will do this animation. So let's just uh, make a new, new uh, composition. Comp one. All right. Okay, I'm going to insert a solid, of course. A brown colored solid because things suits my personality very well. And then, um, yeah, just drag it into this thing. Make sure it's highlighted first. Uh, you can either apply it inside or outside. So I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like when I do it both ways. And uh, you see. And now when it's playing towards the end, it should do the same thing, but in reverse. So yeah, if you don't, if that's not your thing, they also have a non blurry version. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, you also have these kinds of transitions. All right, I didn't have to keyframe anything. And then you also have like a version for scaling. So yeah, typically people do those things like where it scales from zero to a hundred and then they don't want to tween it. Just use this. Let me just remove the th previous things that we did. Okay, and then drag and drop. Yeah, see? See how smooth and soft that looks compared to something that you would do with only two keyframes. And that's only like for transformations. You can also do these things for text. So I'm just going to type Herbat Academy. Okay. Just make it yellow or something. By the way, no white text on yellow backgrounds. That's a cardinal sin in design. Just go here in this text folder and you can animate your text through characters, one by one letters, right? Or each line or each word. So I prefer lines usually. Letters is for if you want to do titles, like big titles in the center of the screen. I'll show you what I mean here. So it's animating one by one. Um, but if you were to animate lines, it's going to animate each line. So Herbat Academy is in two lines and if I put it there, it's going to animate Herbat and Academy. Yeah, I mean words is words lah. I think you can just see it uh, here. Mr. Horse in the house. And then, um, if that's not enough, these things also work in 3D layers. If you don't know how to use 3D layers, you can watch uh, our recent video about 3D layers here. So press 3D layer transformations and maybe position and rotate, see what they have. Ooh, I'm going to use this one. Go ahead and remove the initial transformation, scaling transformation. Touch this here. I'm going to remove this as well. And then I shall use this on the yellow block. Yeah, so it's going to ask you if you want to convert this layer to 3D, in which you would see, of course. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so I forgot to turn the text into a 3D layer, my bad. And this is how it looks like. They have other things going on here as well, like um, rotating around an anchor point, um, around a null. As well as like a plethora of things that you can use for your animation. I mean, I'm always up for things that can kill redundant processes. And this includes everything that Animation Composer has to offer. Like it just saves you so much time and you can focus on the harder things or the more important things in your work. 
Yeah, alright. So uh, I hope you guys look into animation composer. The latest one is version 3 as of the date of this recording. Actually, send us your work. Maybe you can showcase them. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do because it's the right thing to do. I'm Ami and I'll see you in the next video.